In recent years, ICSR has done a lot of research about a phenomenon called the lone wolf. But what are lone wolves and what do they do? At the most basic level, lone wolves are people who are not formally part of a terrorist group, organization or network. In that sense, they are not part of a chain of command and control. Rather, they are being inspired by an idea, they adopt an ideology and then decide on their own to carry out terrorist attacks in the name of that ideology. Examples include Roshanara Chowdhury, a student from East London who carried out an attack against her Member of Parliament, who stabbed her Member of Parliament, Stephen Timms, because he supported the Iraq war. Another example is Anders Breivik, the person from Oslo, Norway, who was responsible for the devastating terrorist attack in the summer of 2011. Police find it very difficult to track down lone wolves precisely because they do not have known associates who are part of a terrorist group. They do not have phone calls with them and they are not involved in an elaborate scheme of organizing a terrorist plot. Often, however, the label lone wolf is misapplied because not all lone wolves are necessarily lonely. They often do have associates, they are not socially isolated, and in many cases, of course, what is driving the rise of this phenomenon is that people are involved with other people on the internet. In many ways, online radicalization is actually the moving force behind the rise of the lone wolves. Now, of course, in many cases, involves a lot of socialization. People do talk online, they do socialize and hang out with other people, even though they do it virtually, not face to face. So the phenomenon of the lone wolf is throwing up a lot of new and interesting questions, which ICSR will continue to explore in years to come.